Welcome to the British Royal Family TV. Royals shake monarch's health fears as royal expert notes frail appearance in picture. Please subscribe and hit the notifications bell to stay updated with our latest information from the royal family. The Queen makes her final appearance during the royal family's traditional engagement week in Scotland. In Scotland, the monarch 96 attended an armed forces act of loyalty parade in Edinburgh. The Queen looked radiant in purple for Tuesday's engagement as she waved to viewers that the head of state, who is facing ongoing mobility issues, carried her walking stick during the performance. This morning the Queen joined the armed forces at the Palace of Holler Woodhouse as they celebrated their platinum anniversary in Scotland. There was a parade and handover of keys to Edinburgh Castle in the Palace Gardens. The Army, Navy, and Air Force were represented at the service, and the royal salute was given as the Queen arrived in the gardens. Lord Lyon, King of Arms, introduced the Queen to three senior officials from the services. They were joined by three cadets representing each service, who then carried the key to Edinburgh Castle through the gardens, before presenting it to Major General Alastair Bruce of Cryon H., the Governor of Edinburgh Castle. The Major General then addressed the Queen. The act of loyalty and the delivery of the receipt to Edinburgh Castle marked the 200th anniversary of King George V's visit to Scotland in 1822. It comes after the Queen yesterday joined other members of the royal family for a week of royal engagements arrived in Scotland. She attended the historic key handover ceremony at the Palace of Holler Roadhouse in the Scottish capital alongside Prince Edward and Sophie, known as the Earl and Countess. A quarter or north of the border, the event is the traditional kickoff to a Holyrood week for the royals, who have traveled to Scotland en masse. The Queen. Dressed in a light blue coat and hat, the keys of the city of Edinburgh were symbolically presented to Lord Provost Robert Aldridge. Tradition dictates that the monarch returns them and entrusts their safekeeping to the city's elected officials. Prince Charles, known north of the border as the Earl of Rothsc, and Princess Anne will also perform engagements in Scotland this week. The Princess Royal will conduct an investigator on behalf of the Queen at Hollywood's house later in the day. On Wednesday, the Prince of Wales, Edward, Sophie and annual guests invite guests to a garden party at Hollywood's house to recognize their positive contributions to communities across Scotland. A cheerful-looking queen makes her second public appearance in just two days as she continues her stay in Scotland. This morning she took part in the Armed Forces Act of a Loyalty Parade at the Palace of Holyrood House to mark a platinum anniversary north of the border. The monarch, dressed in a heavy silk robe and cloak with matching hat, all by Angela Kelly, waved to the crowd as she stood with the help of her walking stick. The parade also included a presentation for the Queen of Aquifer Edinburgh Castle. All three armed forces, Army, Navy, and Air Force were represented, and when Her Majesty arrived in the gardens a royal salute took place. Lord Lyon, King of Arms, then introduced the Queen to three senior officials from the services. The key to the castle was then presented to the Queen by Major General Alastair Bruce of Cryonic, Governor of Edinburgh Castle, who was assisted by three service cadets at the palace's Ikirai's door. The Major General addressed the Queen and said that we, serving members of Her Majesty's armed forces, bound by our oath to you, your heirs and successors, offer the key to Her Majesty's royal castle in Edinburgh for your gracious acceptance. To which she replied. In gratitude for the symbolic act of loyalty by our armed forces, I entrust this key to the safekeeping of my governor at Edinburgh Castle. Confident of her faithfulness to her oath, the Queen was then cheered three times by members of the armed forces before a whistle tune compassed for the platinum jubilee called Yerignari was played as she waved goodbye and returned to the palace. Thanks for watching till the end, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates from the royal f